Well, hello! Surprisingly, I'm still developing my RPG game. By the way, join my Discord if you want to take part in upcoming testing. So, I want to share some stuff with you. First of all, I've replaced Roblox starter character. How? Create a character, change name to starter character and move it to start the player folder. How to create a character? Create a model with separate parts, then rig it. Don't forget to give an unique name to every part. I used Rig Editor that you can find in Roblox plugin catalog. But what about animations? You can use standard Roblox animation editor. Create an animation. Leave a comment if you want a video about creating animations. Then launch your game. Copy standard animation script and paste it into starter character script. Find constants with ID of animations and replace it with ID of your animations. But I highly recommend you to delete the entire code and write your own animation script. It's hard to control standard animations if you want to create something really special. So do I. Let's take a look to my inventory system. Basically, it's just a model script with some tables and functions to work with them. When a player joins, I copy this model script to the player's folder. So every player has a unique model script. What information do I store in the tables? Let's take a look to my ethin function. It needs four arguments. Name, type, count and status. I need type to define what to do with the item in some cases. Status displays if the item is equipped. It's necessary to load player's equipment after joining the game time after time. So if I want to add something to the inventory, I check all the slots and update count. If the item is new for player's inventory, I try to find free space. Font, alright, add the thing with four arguments. But if the count is higher than max count of the item, I try to recursively add the rest of the count. Every time I update the inventory, I fire inventory update event. And uh, oh, <laughs> leave a comment if you want me to make a video with the explanation of what's going on here. Basically, I create an image button for every item in the inventory and keep it until count is less than one. How do I update items count? I use add things function to increase and decrease function to decrease the count. How do I get certain item from the inventory? Well, I can get it by ID, because it's a table, or I can get it by the name, and it's simply a for loop. That's it. Leave a comment if you need more explanation of something. Bye.